Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today, Apple released iOS 12.2 Beta 3 for the developers. It should be out for the public beta within the next week or so, or in a couple of days actually. But if you're excited for the new changes in iOS 12.2 Beta 3, then leave a like down below and subscribe to stay updated with all the recent Apple news. This update is not as big as I thought it would be and as the previous ones, but there are still a few things that I would like to share with you as it's quite interesting to talk about as well. You probably have heard about the group FaceTime bug, the whole FaceTime bug that's been going around. It has been patched on their servers for other iOS versions and the official fix was released in iOS 12.1.4 like a week or two weeks ago. And now it's actually coming to all of you guys who were not able to use your group FaceTime in iOS 12.2 beta 2. Beta 3 fixes it for everyone. So you can go call your friends and group FaceTime and everything if you're part of the developers though. And for all of you guys, the official release of iOS 12.2 will probably be out during their March event or around that time in March. So not, probably not in February. Let's take a look at the new features. So there's a new Apple TV controller which has been recently updated in iOS 12.2 beta 1 and they changed it again in beta 3. It looks more of like a remote now, it's all black, it's beautiful actually, and I like it way more than the previous one as it looks more of a remote type of thing, if you get what I mean. Now, if you go also into settings about the whole layout there of your modal number and everything, it's completely changed, completely reorganized, it's completely different than in the past, so it's kind of cool to see as well that they're changing a little bit of the things that we saw for quite a while. The news app also has a little change on top. You see that it's not Apple news anymore, but there's like the Apple logo and news, which means they're getting ready for their subscription service that should be released in March. So probably some new branding, something like that, like Apple logo news, something like that. It will be cool to see more about that in another video. The wallet has some changes as well. It has been previously redesigned and stuff and animations in the previous updates. Now there are still new animations, new like design and also it's more clear so you can call your bank, you can go to the website if you have cards on there. It's just more transparent and more clear for those people who use that quite often. The music app also has a little change. So if you're one of those people who watched music videos on the Apple Music app, then you remember you had to go to full screen to watch the music video itself. Now you don't actually have to. It's just gonna show in a small box with your play and everything. So you can go to the full screen later on. But that's all, that's this tiny little update. Still a little bit of things, but like if you liked and subscribe to stay updated with all the recent Apple news and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye!